Hi, this DES Smart Technologies introduces sensors, examines the theoretical foundations and practical applications of electrical, fiber, and industry logistics and transportation and their use in the modern in, in modern era, incorporating information from sensors, best industries to review current developments in the defense and automobile industry. My focus has been on the business development among defense and automobile producers. Uh, picture this, it is 1941 and you are 3,000 feet above sea level, shooting down the enemy warplanes while dodging shots. You may deliver supplies, including evacuating the injured men to return to the base so that they can receive hospital attention for themselves. These sensors have the ability to detect a danger and can enhance planned objectives, which is to return home safe for any of those people operating uh, within the, uh, the military arena. And when you look on the automobiles, cars, car accidents these days, are, are current and the future plans of these industries are looking for ways to make sure that people can drive home back safely anytime. You don't need to suffer because of the sensors that are placed into these cars these days. So it's possible. So in this presentation, I will introduce Ryan, the CEO, who will discuss further on the forecast, marketing arrangements that have been used during our campaign in the past seasons. I'll later on introduce Caleb, who will come and talk more about his production schedules and capabilities that he has been working on. He is the Chief Operations Officer here. And then later we'll finalize off with Nathan, our Chief Finance Officer, who has been working on the reports, showing us exactly our platforms and anger, where things work. Thank you so much for your understanding. Goodbye. All right, today I'll be sharing with you the research and development and marketing strategies of our corporation, Digby. Our research and development team has focused on four products, two of which are low-tech and two of which are high-tech products. We have a variety of products to make sure that we can reach the needs and desires of a variety of consumers. Our marketing strategy for our products is to keep our customer awareness and customer accessibility high for each product. Right now, all of our products have a 90% or higher customer awareness and the customer accessibility is at least 85%. In the future, we look to increase the customer awareness to 100% and the customer accessibility to 100%. We hope to do so in the next couple of years. Digby is here to revolutionize the technology industry. One of Digby's goals is to always be moving forward. Digby continues to invest in building the best technologies and also invests in being able to build more of it to allow our customers to have the tech available when they need it. We invest in automating the processes to make sure our processes are extremely precise and quick. As we continue to innovate the future of technology, we make sure we are staying innovative in how our products are produced to maintain the highest quality of tech. The advancements in the sensor technology has paved the way for remarkable growth of Digby in most of the technological arenas, including the automotive sector. The market for consumer engineering is constantly growing with producers coming up with high-end technologies and features in their devices on a regular basis. The growing popularity of smart consumer electronic is expected to drive the growth of 3D sensors market. Digby is boosting innovation in every industry, providing opportunities for the automotive industry that are leading sensor digital transformations. With some of the biggest tech players from the US, Europe, South Korea, India, and current China. Through research and development, this tech Technology is expected to change the application of war equipment in the coming future. DAIS and D technological sensors will be the key factor in catapulting current businesses by improving existing experiences based on their behavior. Our previous year showed a sales of $89,797,081 we are anticipating year nine to include a return on sales of 18.2%.
return on assets of 21.7%, return on equity of 35.5%. Our asset turnover was 1.19%. We took 11.5% of the market share and our final stock price was $49.96.